Hello, I'm Dr. Alan Widener from Massage Chair Relief, and welcome to our bi-weekly massage chair industry update for Friday, March 22nd, 2024. We appreciate you being here with me today. Um, had an interesting last couple of weeks. Uh, the, the most, uh, probably the most uh, pronounced thing was when I visited uh, Southern California. I went to visit my uh, my showroom, uh, as well as visiting some of our suppliers. So I, I dropped by. Uh, uh, I dropped by Daiwa and had a uh, had a wonderful visit with uh, with uh, Miku and Charles and Michael Kagure, who's the president of Daiwa. And uh, we I got to try out the the new uh, uh, Daiwa Pegasus Hybrid, which takes the old Pegasus body and some of the same features, but gives it a, uh, a an L track with two sets of four rollers. So it has eight rollers and I sat on it and it's a nice intense massage. It's definitely more intense than the old Pegasus smart. Uh, it still has the shoulders that go in and out to, to, to handle broad shouldered or thin shouldered people or thin girth overall thin or larger girth. Cause if they flare out like this, so it, it fits in more than just shoulders, but also uh, midsection and hips. Uh, and uh, we had a wonderful lunch and, uh, and uh, uh, got to talk business and, uh, Michael uh, showed me, and I hope he doesn't mind me sharing this, but uh, he, you know, their, their chairs were made in the Rotai factory and he's been in, in associated with Rotai for decades because I don't know if you know this, but Daiwa is one of the earliest uh, massage chair distributors in the United States. They, they started over 40 years ago. The only other company I can think of that has been around that long is uh, Human Touch. But uh, but uh, the ownership of uh, Daiwa has stayed with Michael and his people and his family, and uh, and they have very nice products. And we they only started selling their chairs through retailers like us. I think it was maybe four years ago, right before COVID, four or five years ago. Uh, that was when I went to their the furniture market and met with them, and uh, they were they were kind of in, meeting with different retailers to encourage them to carry their products. And uh, and I immediately knew that they were row type of chairs uh, from the look of them. And uh, Rotai is a very good factory. They make a lot of massage chairs for a lot of different distributors like Human Touch and Ogawa, or sorry, Osaki and uh, Infinity and Body Friend. And she had probably missing something. But anyways, uh, they're, uh, it's a good factory. And their chairs, were, I knew their chairs were made there. So I knew their chairs were good quality. Uh, and anyways, they had a prototype there of the uh, Daiwa Supreme Hybrid, which was the first split track chair we've ever seen. And I was excited about that when I saw it. I knew this was going to be a big deal. And so we immediately signed on as uh, as uh, retailers for Daiwa. And it's been a wonderful relationship ever since. Uh, you know, I've, I have, uh, you know, we, we, I don't know, we, we do a lot of dealings with them, partly because we sell their chairs, but also because we have lifetime labor warranty, even after the warrant, the labor warranty is over, which is one year, we, we kind of step in and take care of the service calls. Uh, and if you ever have a question about whether our lifetime labor warranty is really valid, or if it's, uh, we've heard some people, some uh, folks tell their customers that our Lifetime labor warranty is a scam. And uh, well, if you want to know for sure, call any of our distributors and they can tell you uh, that we <laughs> that is, we certainly do what we say we do, which is offer labor coverage for people, uh, for our customers after the factory warranty for labor ex ends, whether it's one year or whether you have an extended warranty of three or five years after that, whenever that ends, we take care of you in terms of the labor coverage. And uh, so anyways, I had a wonderful visit with them. And then uh, I, I visited with uh, a Body Friend, uh, and they're a company that we have carried their chairs briefly in the past when they were being distributed by Furniture for Life. And that relationship ended, and so did our participation in selling Body Friend chairs. Uh, but uh, we, they have reached out to me a couple of times over, actually over the years, but more so over the last uh, 12 months. Uh, wanting to meet with me to discuss maybe just starting to distribute their chairs. And I assume they're doing this with, with other retailers as well. Uh, but uh, so I finally got a chance to go see them uh, when I was in Southern California a week ago. And uh, I had a wonderful visit with Benny and CJ, uh, two of the principals there in the U.S. Uh, the U.S. operations for uh, body friend and mind you body friend is a korean company the chairs are chinese made in, in rotai factory 
uh, but they are the company is Korean, and they are the largest uh, massage chair retailer in the world. Uh, and of course, when I say world, their world is primarily Asia. Uh, and in the United States, they've been here, I think, since 2017 or 2016, and they haven't gained the ground or the the, the foothold in the industry that they maybe do, they do in other countries, probably because of the, the different, the, the, the business here is different. The industry is different here. It's much more competitive. Uh, there is a, a, a way bigger emphasis, or at least we're moving towards more emphasis on service and support rather than just chairs, uh, than chairs with cool features. And so um, it, 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 it's been a little bit of an adapting for them, I think. And, I, and I'm not, I'm speaking just from my own observation, not because of anything they've told me. But uh, anyways, they, 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 they have changed their business model to allow for retailers. And so uh, while I was there, I sat on uh, the two of their top chairs. One's called the Leonardo and the other one's called the, uh, the Phantom Rovo. And that's the one that has the legs that move independent of each other. And I got to try that chair. I had to go to one of their stores to try that one. But uh, it looks like we're going to, uh, we, we are beginning a relationship with them. We're just in the process of signing the papers and, uh, and doing that. But we will become a dealer for, for Body Friend uh, promptly. And we anticipate having one or both of those models in our showrooms. But when you have a showroom, you have limited space and you have to, you know, uh, make room uh, for their chairs. And so we don't have the room for all of them yet, including all the ones that we want to get, like the next, the new Human Touch Supernova X, which should be coming out in another week or two, uh, and uh, you know other chairs that, that come along. We like to make room. So what we do is we sell off the chairs that don't sell as well, and we and we make room that way. Or or uh, maybe there's a discontinued model uh, mm -hmm. that that uh, that we hear about. So we sell that floor model and we make room for new models. But anyways, that was a pretty pretty exciting. And uh, their chairs are, are re their pricing on their chairs of those two models are uh, the Da Vinci will be eleven seven, and the Phantom Rovo will be ten eight. So right right along the same lines as other chairs that we sell, uh, other premium chairs that we sell. But I do know that. Um, their the, again, their chairs are made in a very good factory, so I have a lot of faith in the uh, lower failure rates. Um, I will mention though that uh, uh, I, I we were we had when we sold we sold a few of their uh, Faro S2 chairs when we were distributors for uh, Furniture for Life, and um, and and we had we didn't have many problems like uh, service calls or issues like that. However, uh, after the uh, you know after about three or four years, we had a couple calls. And so we had to take care of the service, but we were not, we were very unfamiliar with how to deal with their service because we didn't, we didn't have a phone number. We didn't uh, have an email. I had to do a little homework, had to kind of call around uh, the number, the numbers there. And eventually uh, I met Kenny, or sorry, Benny, who is um, like, he's like the, 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 the VP of, uh, of uh, business development. Uh, for body friend and he was wonderful to deal with he was very uh, very informative very helpful he's the one that invited me to come back and check out their new business model and for the retailers and uh, he also hooked me up with the service department which was wonderful because we finally got one of our uh, one of our buyers one of our customers was in Colorado and we had a hard time we had to send out a technician because we were out of the late uh, the factory warranty of labor so we had to go out there and uh, send out a guy to figure out what, how to work on it and what to do with it. And so we figured out what parts we needed. And, uh, and so, but they've been wonderful ever since I've gotten to a hold of the right people. So I'm comfortable now knowing that uh, uh, whatever the situation that arises, uh, that body friend will, will be there to stand behind the product and, and support us because we, when they support us, they're supporting our customers. Right. And sometimes massage share companies lose sight of the fact that, uh, we, that, there's a difference between us being their customer and our customers being their customer as well. And some some of the companies have a real firm grasp on that. So if something happens to one of our customers and it's upsetting to the customer and uh, the massage share company isn't getting it taken care of, uh, some of these companies, they, they, they really treat our customers like their own, which they really are, even though they bought through the middleman, which is us. And uh, so I would, uh, I was, I was very pleased with the support they gave me once I found the right people to get in contact with. So, anyways, that's new. And then the last visit of that day was to visit Nicholas Beast, who's the, uh, the kind of the, the head massage chair guy for Johnson Wellness Tech in the United States. And his the companies that he has, or the the, the chair lines that he has, are uh, Cinco Wellness and Inner Balance Wellness. 
And now, and I've talked about them in the past, they've, they've made some huge changes in their business model with regards to, uh, or not just the business model, but the business model and the business setup. Now, the, uh, the, the, the massage chair department, if you will, is their own department. They're not part of the health and fitness department because, uh, you know, Johnson Wellness does uh, uh, exercise equipment and things like that. Now the, the now the massagers are their own entity within Johnson Health Tech. And that's the main difference in their business model. But also, and I've told, said to you this before, they purchased uh, the uh, Fuji Medical Factory in Japan. So they actually bought uh, a factory. And that factory was the home of the Fujiyorki uh, name brand. And uh, the Fu Fujiyorki brand had... Uh, models called Cyber Relax, and they were sold by a different distributor at the time who uh, who who sold their chairs and other his own chairs. Uh, but that relationship was severed by Fujiyorki, and now Fujiyorki has uh, or Johnson Wellness Tech that owns Fujiyorki or Ma owns Fuji Medical now owns the whole chain from uh, factory to develop or develop factory to development to build to distribution. And so now it's all kind of in-house, if you will. Anyways, I, I, I saw that when we were at, uh, at CES in January, they had their booth and it was Sinka and Fujiorki. And so I met with Nicholas Aaron. I said, what's going on with the Fujiorki? He says, well, we, 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 we started, we've taken that name over now from Fuji Medical and we're going to be bring new models into the market. And I mentioned that in a previous uh, industry update too, that they're going to have three new models, Japanese made models uh, and uh, some other Cinco wellness models. Well, and this, this is what, this is, uh, the, this is what I learned when I was there. And it was fantastic to be there. It was like, like I walked into a new world of massage chairs, but anyways, uh, one of the lines that they're going to start carrying are the decor chairs. Now you might be familiar with decor because we used to carry decor and we really, I really liked that chair. The decor Cirrus was one of my favorite chairs. It had the look of a reg, like a much more modern furniture look. It had uh, wood accents on the armrests and the side panels and the back panel. Uh, but we lost the right to distribute those chairs because it, it's a furniture for life, uh, uh, Furniture for Life was the U.S. distributor for those chairs. And so when Furniture for Life changed their business model to sell only through their own stores, we we were kind of, uh, we, we were uh, cut off. And I don't say that uh, begrudgingly at all because I don't know the owner of Furniture for Life. He's a great guy. He's a good friend. And he knew that this was the, to because to, so he didn't have to deal with the competition of non-Furniture for Life stores he basically got rid of the non-Furniture for Life stores. So the Furniture for Life kind of had their own, they had their kind of the, um, how would you say it? They had their, like a kind of a monopoly on their own chairs. And they have every right to do that. There's their chair. They brought them in. They're the distributors. They can have whoever they want to sell them. Well, now D Decor, uh, which is the, the brainchild of Sushi or Soshi Inada, who is the son of the Inada massage chair empire, he started his own line of chairs, and it's the decor chairs. And they were made in China. They're designed and engineered in Japan, but they're built in China. And now they, the decor has a new model called the Decor 2, which is what was at Nicholas's showroom in, in Southern California. And that chair is made in Japan, 100% made in Japan. And it has some of the differences that I noticed on it was it has oak side panels instead of the, I think it was maple or walnut, which was a darker color. This is a lighter oak color. Very nice look. Uh, it has elbow uh, airbags that kind of massage this part of the of, of the arm. It has um, it has Bluetooth speakers, which the old Decor Cirrus and Stratus didn't have. And it also has, uh, it still has the arm rollers, calf rollers, foot rollers, all the rest of it. It felt like the massage was a little uh, more comfortable, if you will. Um, and when I say comfortable, I mean, it was still strong and intense, but the seating, when you sat in the chair, it felt a little more cushy, a little more, just more comfortable. And it has quick keys, a little thing of quick keys, a little dial that's on the left armrest that you can adjust uh, some of the basic functions of the chair. And you're aware of quick keys. I've talked to you about them before. They're on the armrests, so you don't have to always use the remote control. But anyways, the Decor 2 was there. And then... Um, and so we're going to be uh, selling the decor too. Uh, very sh well, shortly we'll have it on our website. We'll, we're, I think we're going to bring it back to our showrooms. 
because it was a popular chair. Now the the Jap they're still working on pricing, but they're expecting the price of the Japanese made decor to be fourteen nine ninety nine. Now you can still get the old decor Cirrus and the decor Stratus made in China, and I think they're also going to have a Japanese made version of each of those. So they're 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 coming out with this whole family of decor chairs that we now have access to. Of course, we're not going to carry all of them in our showroom. We'll carry one because the basic uh, massage function is the same. What's different is some of the features and where it's built. And of course, the Japanese build is a big deal because uh, the Japanese build uh, and testing is where the Japanese excel. The testing of the product is going to be all in Japan now, which is fantastic. Of course, as we've talked about before as well, it's not so cut and dried as to where a chair is made. It's not 100% made in Japan, just like the Loraco is not 100% made in, in, um, in, in America. And the Chinese chairs are not 100% made in China. Uh, components come from Malaysia and Singapore and Taiwan and whatnot. So there's other components that make up the chair. So it's not a pure, they're not all purebred Japanese, uh, Chinese or American chairs. Having said that, uh, I I feel very happy about the idea that this chair is being uh, the decor two is being made in Japan, and the price on that one will be fourteen nine ninety nine. Uh, they still have, and I've got to tell you more. Like it was it was that was quite a visit. Uh, anyway, so the decor two will we'll learn more. We'll get more about that as we as we uh, start to see those chairs coming into America uh, through through uh, Sinka or Fuji Yorki. It's going to be coming through Fuji Fuji Yorki. They also have a new chair. It's a split track, uh, and that is uh, – I, I can't remember what they're – I got, took some notes because it, I had to actually take notes when I was there. They're going to call it the um, – oh, they're going to – they're going to. it's going to be a Fujiyorki brand, but they're going to call it Cyber Relax something, like uh, some variant of the Cyber Relax, like the Cyber Relax, you know, A or Cyber Relax B. But that is a chair that is made in China. Uh, but it is going to be in, under the Fujiyorki brand. And that chair, again, we're, we're not exactly sure the pricing, 8500 8600 They're They're still kind of negotiating all the pricing and all the costs and all that stuff for them to bring them into the United States. Um, and that chair has 80 airbags, split track 4D, kneading neck airbags. So it has these airbags that, that rub your neck if that's what you want. And it has calf and foot roller. So uh, similar to other split tracks that we have, but uh, an, another offering, another uh, option for buyers. And then they're, they're coming out with the Fujiyorki JP4000, which will be the, the, the successor to the uh, Sinka 3000. And, uh, and then they're bringing out, a, they have a chair right now called Interbalance Gin 2, J-I-N 2. It's a chair we've never carried. It was very, uh, it, uh, but we, because uh, it was a 2D chair and I didn't want to bring a 2D chair in, even though Nicholas told me that they sold very well in, 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 uh, in uh, brick, and, brick and mortar stores. But I told him I want a, and it's a lower price chair. That chair was, I think was like $32.99. I, and, and they were going to bring in a 3D chair. Uh, uh, and they're going to, it's going to be like the Gen 2, Gen 2, but it's going to be called the Fujiyorki Calm Plus. And that chair is going to be $36.99. This is a 3D chair. Um, with full full feature chair, uh, like an L track, foot rollers, um, and, and I believe and they they have what they call a flex track on it. It's not a split track; it's a flex track. So if you're a heavier body, the the the, the track will give a little bit. So it's not digging in super intense. And so I'm interested to see how that works. I've not seen it before. It'll, it'll have a full color touch panel, but that is another chair that's going to be under the Fujiyorki name. And so that right there is the decor, uh, the decor line, the Fujiyorki Cyber Relax, the one I told you about the split track, the Fujiyorki JP4000, and then the Fujiyorki Com Plus. And of course, maybe the names will play, it will change, maybe the pricing will change as we get closer to releasing it. But it's all they're all coming to market this year. Like it's it's a it's a it's like an avalanche of chairs. Also, they have. They have another one coming from Japan. He didn't tell me. That was the one I, I kind of wanted to see because he explained it to me when we were at the CES. And that's the one I want to see. But he didn't uh, have that one. And he, and he and he still wasn't at liberty. to. He, well, not at liberty. He just didn't want to tell me too much because, you know, they don't have it yet. So he doesn't know everything about it yet either. But here's the thing. Uh, our next uh, live uh, massage chair relief or massage chair relief live, which is our live stream, where we invite uh, principals of the massage chair companies and other people in the industry to come and uh, you know chat about massage chairs. He's our next guest, 
And we had to wait to schedule the the, the live stream until I went there last week uh, to meet with him and, and uh, talk with him and, and, and make sure we got to go ahead to do the live stream. And it will be this Wednesday at 2 o'clock p.m. Mountain Time, 4 o'clock Eastern, th uh, 3 o'clock Central, and 1 o'clock uh, Pacific Time. So th that that's a company that's got a lot of things going on. Uh, a lot of interesting stuff. And Nicholas is like this wealth of information. He like he knows his stuff. He's a good guy to uh, to talk with. He, he and, and he'd be happy to answer questions. Um, and if you have comments, whatever, I'd like to invite you to come to that. And of course, uh, uh, you know, if you have questions, bring them along with you. But anyways, that's this Wednesday. And by the way, another thing, you can watch that live stream on our YouTube channel, which is youtube.com slash massage chair relief. Or you can go to our Facebook page, which is Facebook dot com slash massage dot chair dot relief you can see it on our twitter which is which is now x dot com slash massage chairs and we're also we finally have our uh, banner our homepage banner up with a spot for playing videos like our live stream and if you go there to massage chair relief dot com now you'll see the homepage banner, which is a picture of me welcoming you to the website with clicks to new new chair sales and pre-owned sales uh, but on the right third, the right the, the the right third of that banner is now dedicated to primarily for the live stream, which we do once a month. And so we'll have uh, 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 Nicholas there on on Wednesday, and you can watch it live on our on our um, on our uh, website too. You just can't offer comments or questions, but you can certainly listen to it and check it out. So uh, you can watch it in those four four different uh, locations. Uh, and speaking of the massage chair, uh, industry or sorry, the massage chair relief live stream in April, we're planning on having Michael Kaguri, the president of Daiwa to be on. And I'm excited to have him on as well. He's, uh, he's Japanese. Uh, he'll probably have some other people on it with him to express, uh, some of the things that he wants to say, uh, because his, his, you know, you, his primary language is Japanese and, uh, and, uh, and English is, is a second language. And it's it's good. I mean, I understand him when he talks, but if he wants to talk about details or specifics or uh, whatever, uh, I think he'll have someone on there to kind of help uh, relay that information to us uh, in, in in more fluent English. But I'm very excited to have Michael there. I'm excited to have Nicholas. Uh, we've got plans for for May, May and June as well, but I, I haven't firmed those ones up yet. But anyways, I want you to join me and and, and uh, watch and bring questions and bring. Um, uh, you know, comments or anything, questions. It doesn't have to even be about like Nicholas is a great source, a resource for not just his chairs, but the market. Like he knows what's going on in the market and he's, he's, he's got some, he's got a lot of knowledge. I really enjoy working with him. Okay. Um, as far as sales go, um, Ogawa's got, Ogawa usually has monthly sales for all their chairs and Svago, which is their uh, zero gravity recliner department or section of their, of their company. And, uh, but there, but JP medics doesn't usually have sales. Now, JP medics, Svago, Ogawa, and Cozy are all the same company and Brookstone. They're all the same company, but they're all kind of run separately. And the JP medics rarely have, has sales. That's the chair that's built in China by Ogawa, but, uh, exported to Japan where it's assembled, tested, and programmed kind of like the old Oko was. Uh, or the Oko chairs are. Anyways, they have a sale right now where if you buy the JP Medix Kaze, K-A-Z-E, which is the upgrade to the Kumo, you get a free Nami, which is a like a body vibrator, the kind you stand on, and, and it's, got, it's got a little uh, a podium that you stand on, you hold on the handle, and it vibrates everything. It's supposed to be good for relaxing you. Uh, they say it's good for weight loss, uh, but it's a, it's a $29.99. It's, it's a $3,000 a uh, free bonus. So that is a, that's a great deal. So if you're looking for, uh, you know, something to motivate you to want to get a, a chair, you know, take a look at the cause. A. I think we have one in a couple of our showrooms, so you can try it there too. Um, anyways, I, I thought I would tell you about that. And then uh, a couple of other things. We had a, a customer named Rusty McKee, great guy. And he just reached out to us and said, uh, Hey, uh, Dr. Wright, he, 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 oh, he bought the true eclipse chair which is a, a new line of chairs that we started carrying uh, about two years ago. Anyways, he bought that chair and he sent the letter to myself, to Sean, who's my manager that sold him the chair, I believe, and to me and to Christy Kim, who is the uh, the, the the president or the owner of uh, True Massage Chairs. And she was on our um, 
she was on our uh, live stream two months ago. So you can go back onto our YouTube channel and go to that playlist and you can listen to her talk. That was a very good uh, interview as well. And they, uh, this customer, Rusty, he sent in a letter to all three, four of us telling us about how much he loved the chair and how it hits all the spots he wants. But his old chair was the Inata Dreamwave. And for those of you, they, the Inata Dreamwave has been long, long been discontinued, but it was a, uh, a Japanese uh, designed and engineered and partly built chair. But uh, it had airbags. Okay, so a lot of massage chairs have airbags on the thighs and they inflate and push against your thighs. But the principal use, the purpose of those is to hold your hips down and in place. So when the rollers go over you, uh, it doesn't push your body forward and it maintains the intensity of the, of the roller massage on your back. Same thing that the shoulder airbag do shoulder airbag for the most part, their purpose is to hold you in place. So when the rollers go up and down your back, your body's not going forward, you know, in waves with the rollers. Well, Inada came out with, and that was one of the revolutionary things about that Inada Dreamwave. When it came out, it changed the whole market. And, uh, and, uh, uh, it, it was such an innovative chair, um, but one of the things that made it really cool was it had these hip airbags that were really uh, more, uh, they weren't flat balloons like a lot of them are now to just to hold the hips in place. They had airbags that were quite specific and they dug into the iliotibial bands, which are the, the sides of your thighs. It's a strip of tissue that goes from your hips down to the outside of your knee. And it's a thin strip. It's a ligamentous strip. It, ca it can cause a lot of pain for people and it can cause, especially for people that are cyclists and runners. Uh, but, but just for the everyday guy like myself, I'm not a runner or a cyclist. I play hockey, but you know, I'm not enough to say that I, you know, strain my muscle, overdo my muscle, uh, you know, overload my muscle work. But when that worked on my iliotibial bands, it was sore. I could feel it. It's tender. And uh, so there's not many chairs that do that. And he loved that feature on his old Dreamwave, but he was getting rid of the Dreamwave because I think it was over 10 years, old, 10 years old. It was time to move on to another model. So what he did was he, he this is such a great idea. And I'm giving this to you so you can use this if you have iliotibial band problems or if you want to do this with your, with your massage chair. He bought a, a foam roll. I think it was a five-inch roll, five-inch diameter roll. And he cut it into a six inch length. He just bought it off Amazon, I think, because he he got one and sent it to us and we're, we have it at our, our Arizona store. And he cut, and then he, so he cut a six inch length of that and then he cut it in half. So, excuse me, so it's two semi or it's not a sphere, it's a half sphere. I don't even know what you call that in math or physics. But so it was flat on one side and then the rounded part on the other. So it looked, it was like, okay, so take this water bottle. It was like half the water bottle. Oops, here we go. Half the water bottle. So it's flat in the middle and rounded on the top. And he puts that between his thigh and the airbags, the hip airbags. And you can really only do this if you have hip airbags in your chair. Some chairs don't have hip airbags. Anyways, when the airbags inflate, now what they do is they push that roller into your iliotibly bands on the side of your thigh. And they, you can do the flat side. Or you can turn it over and use the rounded side if you want a little bit more intense. And you can move that thing up and down your thigh to work that, that ligamentous iliotibial band. It's just a fantastic idea. It's so simple. And it costs cents on the dollar to get, I think, I don't know what the cost of that roller was, but he said it was very cheap. And he was kind enough to give us one. But this is something that you might want to do if you want iliotibial band stuff. So if you're and, and, and you, just, if you're not a cyclist or a runner, don't worry about it. I mean, you can, you can have someone dig their, their knuckle or their elbow into your side of your thigh. You'll know it won't take much pressure. And you'll know if that's a, if that, if that is hypertonic or excessively tight or spastic on you and then try this roller thing. It is, it's wonderful. And it reminds me of the old, not a dream wave. And that's why he did it. Cause it reminded him of it. And it does, it's exactly what it is. It's, it's just a, an air, an air, well, it's not an airbag, but it's facilitated by the airbags pushing this foam roller into your thigh. Great idea. Anyways, take it and run with it. Uh, I strongly recommend it. Well, I've already gone over. I was going to talk a little 
something about uh, fitting in a massage chair, but we can maybe save that for next week. But uh, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, you know, please feel free to thumbs up, like us on our YouTube channel. And of course, help us spread the word about massage chairs by sharing this video or any of our videos with uh, with your friends and family through your social media platforms. And as I need to mention this, I sell all the chairs I talk about, almost all the chairs I talk about. So we do sell chairs too. I'm not just a, 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 a massage chair encyclopedia for you or a, or a tip giver. You know, we do sell these chairs too. And, you know, we, we, we love to earn your business as well. But uh, I think that's about it for this week. Uh, if you want to get a hold of us, you can reach us at 888-259-5380. Someone will answer the phone for you uh, and, uh, and and answer your questions for you, whatever those might be. Anyways, I'm Dr. Alan Widener from Massage Chair Relief, and I will see you again on the next video. Bye-bye.